Hello everybody and today is the day Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 has released and so in this first video I'm going to show you guys how I do my install and I'm also going to show you guys how to change your community folder and packages directory. So stay tuned for that because you're going to want to watch this hopefully before you've installed. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining us on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future releases that come down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below. All right, and we are off. So go to your store, find your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, hit open. This is obviously, of course, if you guys got it from the store. And 11.9 gigs. So I will let you guys know when this is complete. All right, and it has begun. So let's see what this load time looks like. I haven't had to install any packages or anything like that. It hasn't assigned any kind of community folder yet. Let's take a look here. Oh, now we're gonna go full screen for a second. It's gonna look funky for you guys for just a minute. All right, so we are definitely skipping that. Go! No, I didn't want that. All right, let's see what's in the accessibility options. I think that was it. Visual assistance, range of settings, enable screen narration, UI, increase sponsor yet. No, I don't want that. Auditory systems, motor systems. All right, this is pretty cool that they have that though. So if you guys have any of these um, needs, they're here. And I like that it's there right from the start so that way you're not waiting. So continue, here we go. Based on your system capabilities, we recommend the following graphic presets. Um, we are set to ultra, baby. Yeah. Let's continue. Uh, you want a more authentic experience? Yeah, only the essential. We absolutely want the authentic experience. We'll go into the customizations options later. Customize identity. Good morning, Dave. Whoa. All right, so let's see here. I know a lot of you were wondering about character creation, so let's see what our options are. And none of these people look even remotely like me. All right, we're just gonna pick somebody here. Uh, how about you, dude? Rotate at VR, positive rate. Okay. Oh, here we go. So it gets pretty in detail, guys. Well. This is gonna be kind of goofy. Hopefully we can change this later because, I mean, I got to be honest, it really doesn't matter what game or simulator I'm ever in. I don't really put a whole lot of effort into character creation. I know some people who would take hours doing this. Not me. Uh, so let's see here. We're just going to sort of wing it. Go with the old guy. Whoa. There we go. Get that big broad chin. All right. See body. Uh, that's more accurate. Little love in the middle. All right. So let's go with hair. Let's see here. <laughs> totally not me. Not even kind of. Uh, let's see here. Whoa. The 
hat is honestly... Oh, there it is, my black hat. I'm sure you guys have seen it on the channel many times. All right, what voice options do we have here? Entering spray zone. <laughs> yes! <laughs> voice stops over kill sims. Green light for patient extraction. The sky is calling. Entering sprays. Clear skies ahead. Cabin crew. Doors to arrival and... Clear skies ahead. Hoist stops over kill sims. Green light for patient extraction. Hoist stops over kill sims. Green light for... Cabin crew. Please prepare the cabin for landing. That almost sounds like Q8. Anyway. Alright, moving on. So let's see what we got. Oh, we know you. Do you? Anyway. Alright, so. Check it out. We are in. So total time at this point has been about 50 minutes. Now keep in mind the servers are being bombarded at the time of this video. So let's take a look at a couple things here. Um, I'm going to check the installation directory for just a second. So to change your community folder, first off, here's where mine is. It's in C, Users Overkill, App Data, Local, Packages. So this is going to be your username. Obviously, it's not going to say Overkill. Microsoft Limitless, and it's got a key. Local Cache Packages. This is where it installs by default, right? So luckily, these are all empty right now. So what we need to do is we're going to change that, okay? So in order to change that, we need to find the config file. All right, so to change our packages directory, you need to come to this directory here. It's just basically back where we were before. So again, C, users, whatever your username is, app data, local packages, Microsoft Limitless with the key, and local cache. Then we're gonna come down and find this user config file here. You're gonna right click on it. You can open it with Notepad. I recommend Notepad++. And then you're going to find this line right here. It'll install packages path. And you can see that I've already changed mine. So let me show you how I did that. So just in case you don't know, I went to the drive that I wanted to install on. I created a folder called Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I opened it up. You can see the path up here. You simply click in there and you can copy the path. And then you want to make sure that you paste it inside the quotations. It must be in the quotes. And then come up, hit save. You can close the config file and relaunch the simulator. And then when the sim relaunches, it will automatically recreate these folders for you. Now, something to be also considerate of is that when it relaunches, it will have to reinstall the packages. Okay, so you, you will have to go through the reinstall process if you've already done it. All right, guys, so I am in the reload process after changing my community folder still. So I will catch you guys as in the next video when we start going through settings and control configuration.